let's get started and, and dive deeply into what interventional orthopedics is. Essentially, this is a new specialty that uses orthobiologics, which I'll discuss more about. This is a new field and is constantly developing and uh, constantly new research is being published every day. On one hand, you have a doctor who might be prescribing physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, and uh, other lifestyle modifications. And then when they've exhausted their toolkits, they might refer you to a sports medicine doctor or a pain specialist where they might inject cortisone or hyaluronic acid into your peripheral joints, maybe uh, into your spine, burn some nerves. One of their first approaches is to do a steroid injection. Commonly, they'll find the soft spot of the knee, take a needle and inject inside the knee uh, without any ultrasound guidance and just inject a steroid. That steroid is so powerful that commonly, no matter where it's put, you generally get benefit in the entire knee. And uh, usually there's no real healing that occurs with that. Commonly, you'll be going to back to your doctor to get another one in three to six months. If that doesn't work, then you go talk to the surgeon. Interventional orthopedics is designed to bridge between that whole traditional route of doing interventions with cortisone into peripheral joints and the spine to all the way suddenly being cut open and having your spine fused or your joints replaced. It's a pretty big leap. And Interventional orthopedics aims to fill that gap. It takes a little bit more skill to do what I do. Maybe 1% of the physicians can address all of these functional components of the shoulder that you see on the right. So we'll look at treating all the components, which there's quite a bit in the joint that makes up the joint. It's what makes the joint work the way that it does. We've got muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone, cartilage, nerves, to name a few things that all work in cooperation. If one part is injured, it's often another part that compensates for that. And so we wanna treat all the things that have been stressed, torn, degenerative, or causing pain. And it does usually involve multiple injections into one joint to get that best outcome. And we're using ultrasound or fluoroscopic guidance to ensure that we deliver all those orthobiologics, all those cells or growth factors directly where it's needed. So on my left, we have a fluoroscopy machine, which helps us to guide injections using X-ray technology. So really is great for picking up bones, but not so good for soft tissue. On my right here, we have an ultrasound, excellent for looking at soft tissue. And they're actually best in partnership together during a procedure, which I do every single time. There's always ultrasound, there's always fluoroscopy whenever I'm doing a comprehensive treatment. We treat everything from head to toe. We get fantastic outcomes with ACL tears or rotator cuff tears in the shoulder. People with headaches, chronic back pain, people with pain for 20 years, people who've already had surgery, already had arthroscopic surgery or even fusions and still have pain, we treat that. Hip labral tears, pretty good outcomes with that. Avascular necrosis, non-unions, and degenerative disc disease, low back pain, neck pain, you name it, everything from head to toe. And we do so utilizing orthobiologics. So orthobiologics essentially is using a biologic material that stimulates your own body's natural healing processes. On the left here, we have platelet-rich plasma, and that is probably the most common treatment that we offer. Platelet-rich plasma is essentially plasma that is rich with your own platelets. We'll draw your blood, process it in the lab, throw away your red blood cells, you're left with plasma. Then we further concentrate that plasma with your platelets. And those platelets have about 30 different growth factors that facilitate your own healing. If necessary, if it's severe enough, we might utilize stem cells, bone marrow concentrate, Adipose graft, those are basically cells to facilitate your own healing instead of utilizing growth factors, but commonly we'll mix it with platelet-rich plasma to get an added benefit. On the right, you can see prolotherapy. Essentially, that's like a sugar water with a little anesthetic. It's really great for mild conditions or for unstable joints. It successfully treats ligaments and tendons very well. And I'd say that those three are the most common 
injectates or orthobiologics that we'll use. We've got various concentrations of biologics here. One, we've got platelet poor plasma, fat graft, mesenchymal stem cells derived from bone marrow concentrate, PRP, and we've got a lesser concentrated dose of PRP here. You want to make sure that your doctor is customizing their treatment for you because you can't use the same injectate at every single structure. Tendons are going to be different from nerves that are going to be different from cartilage and you want to make sure that they're using the right biologic to get the best outcome at each location. You cannot just inject it in the same manner that you do a cortisone injection. You just won't get as good of an outcome. And if you have tried it before and they didn't do it like this, I highly recommend it because I have found plenty of people say, oh, I've tried PRP and it didn't work. Well, there's a lot of things that go into a successful treatment. One, you got to avoid NSAIDs because that can compromise the outcome. Two, that doctor has to be well-trained and knowledgeable on how to process your cells or your PRP to make sure that there's adequate concentration. And then you got to do the rehab. And all of that goes into uh, what it takes to get a good outcome. If all that fails, you can still have surgery. You can still go back to your cortisone injections or whatever you were doing prior. None of this will preclude you from doing that.